Hello friends, welcome to Libya Do Mathematics. Today we are going to solve another problem from SKMAPA Classical Algebra, Chapter Theory of Equations, Exercise 5A. And today we are going to solve problem number 2 that says if alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha n be the roots of the equation x power n plus n a x plus b equals to 0, then prove that alpha 1 minus alpha 2 times alpha 1 minus alpha 3 up to alpha 1 minus alpha n equals to n times alpha 1 power n minus 1 plus a. So, we have to prove this. What we are given that alpha 1 alpha 2 dot 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 alpha n are root of this equation. So, alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n are roots of the equation x power n plus n a x plus b equals to 0. So, as these are the roots of this equation, so we can write x power n plus n a x plus b. So, the roots of this equation are alpha 1 alpha 2 dot 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 alpha n. So, we can write this as x minus alpha 1 times x minus alpha 2 up to x minus alpha n. Okay. So, as these are the n distinct roots, so we can factor this polynomial like this. Okay. And as you know, if alpha 1 is a root, then x minus alpha 1 is a factor of this equation. And similarly, alpha 2 is a root, x minus alpha 2 is a factor. So, we have given all the n distinct roots. So, we can factor this polynomial like this. Okay. Now, let us do this. So, x power n plus n a x plus b by x minus alpha 1 equals to x minus alpha 2. So, divide both sides by x minus alpha 1 x minus alpha 3 up to x minus alpha n. Okay. Now, what can we do? Look. Now, we have to take limit x tends to alpha 1. Okay. So, take limit x tends to alpha 1 x power n plus n a x plus b by x minus alpha 1 equals to limit x tends to alpha 1. Okay x minus alpha 2 x minus alpha 3 up to x minus alpha n the product of these okay now look at these now if we put alpha 1 so what will be the numerator of this fraction okay the numerator will be sorry it is x okay so x to the power n so if we put alpha 1 what will be the numerator numerator will be alpha 1 power n plus n a alpha 1 plus b and rook alpha 1 is a root of this equation so if we put alpha 1 in the place of x we will have alpha 1 power n plus n a alpha 1 plus b equals to 0 so if we put alpha 1 in the numerator the numerator gives 0 similarly the denominator gives 0 so this is actually in 0 by 0 form ok so we can apply L'Hopital's rule ok Okay, so in the left hand side we apply L'Hopital's root. What then we have? We then have limit x tends to alpha 1. Now de de derivative, do the derivative of the numerator. That will give us n x to the power n minus 1 plus n. And what will be the denom derivative of denominator with respect to x? That will be 1. And look, here x tends to alpha 1. We can put in place of alpha 1 okay so now we have we, we we can put alpha 1 in place of x sorry so put alpha 1 minus alpha 2 alpha 1 minus alpha 3 up to alpha 1 minus alpha n okay so now what we have in the left side now we can put alpha 1 in place of x so put n alpha 1 power n minus 1 plus n a equals to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 alpha 1 minus alpha 3 up to alpha 1 minus alpha n so now what we have if we take n out so we can write this as n times alpha 1 power n minus 1 plus a equals to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 alpha 1 minus alpha 3 up to alpha 1 minus alpha n okay so we have proved that alpha 1 minus alpha 2 times alpha 1 minus alpha 3 times alpha 1 dot up to alpha 1 minus alpha n the product of these is n times alpha 1 power n minus 1 plus a. 
so we had to prove this okay so and we have here is our proof okay so proved so thank you friends for watching the video if you like this video please subscribe the channel and don't forget to share the video with your friends and please please subscribe the channel because your little support is an inspiration for us we will come back again with another video of this chapter because we are going to solve chapter wise problems so please stay tuned with us we will come back shortly thank you and please don't forget to subscribe